It's an amazing story that you reclassified, you get your GED so you can go to junior college at the age of 17. Were you always the kid that wanted to play against guys older than you? Oh, yes, sir. Since a young age, my dad's always had me playing up. So when I started playing at eight, I would play 10U and then 10U, 12U, 12U, 14U. So it was always something I liked doing. And then the challenge started be becoming fun. So I just kept doing it. Cam, did, did you miss high school baseball, though? I mean, that senior year? Yeah, I missed it. But we had won the state championship. And I was like, going to get this challenge would be better for me in my career. So I just thought it'd be better. So w what did you learn this year uh, in playing against older kids, and especially at junior college? This isn't like 14U or 15U. This is like men, 18 and 19 years old, you're playing against. Yeah, something my dad told me, he was like, um, this is not going to be high school where you're going to be going four for four every game and you're going to have to make adjustments and you're going to struggle some, struggle a little bit. So really playing with these older guys to show me that um, the game is a lot harder and that you got to um, get your hits when you when you can and not, um, not stress over um, struggling. Well, one thing that we've learned here, Greg and, and myself, is that if there's bloodlines, and Greg touched on this, it's legit. So I want to ask you, what did you learn have, did you get a chance to be around the big league clubhouse or anything like that? But what have you learned from your dad? I never got to be around the big league clubhouse because um, I was born after you retired. But my dad has taught me everything you can about baseball, about uh, just like from the big league mind, just how to feel the ground ball, just the mindset you have to have, like just like what you had to incorporate into your swing and like approaches and all that stuff and just like just the knowledge and really the base running all the little things that a regular baseball player won't know he knows and he can give it to me i got a lot of luke collier baseball cards i gotta tell you man <laughs> i gotta believe that uh if your father could have participated in an mlb draft combine he would have jumped at the chance so i'm wondering if you two chatted about year one of the combine and what that exchange was like Oh, yeah. So I was at the combine last year because um, USA Baseball had a, um, a 17 tournament. So I was there. So I got to watch it from the stands and it was amazing. I had friends in it. So I was like, this is where I want to be in a year. I want to be on the field with these guys and be in the same position as them. Now, right now you're wearing a Cape Cod. Uh, that, that's swag from your Cape Cod team, right? Yes, sir. So you're in a wood bat league right now. What are you trying to prove this summer? Um. Really not proven. I really just wanted to kind of came down here to get some at bats and try to help my team win. But I really just want to prove to myself that I can play with these guys and that wood bat, metal bat, there's no difference. So I really just want to prove that and try to help uh, Katua win the championship. Man, I, I just love your confidence. You know, I remember my freshman year in college, I went up to Alaska to play with what would be like the Cape Cod today with all the top college players. Here you are coming out of high school, basically to junior college, and you're 17, and you're playing in the Cape, not just any other college league, but this is the top college summer league. So what has that been like, and, and has it knocked your confidence down at all, or has it increased it? Um, we haven't started, so I haven't been able to like uh, judge it, but it's increased my confidence because I'm um, playing in the Cape Cod League with the best guys, and then... Um, uh, especially like uh, there's no one my age doing this. So yeah, it's really up my confidence. So just beginning to start playing and stuff, that'll probably help it even more, but it's been, it's been something. They look like they hooked you up with the right crib though. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You found a good spot, man. That's a nice spot to hang out in the summer. Hey, Cam Collier, look forward to seeing you in San Diego next week. Okay.